and gentlemen, welcome back to another Most Hunter World Iceborne video. It's Tyler's Mustache here, and today I'm gonna show you guys the Guild Palace Hammer build. So basically, this build right here was designed to give you the highest DPS possible using the brand new Guild Palace Hammer. So without further talking, let's jump straight into the build. So for this build right here, we're gonna be using the Royal Cross Mace, which is a new rate to 12 hammer that you can get using festive tickets. So now let's take a look at its stats. So the Royal Cross Mace comes with a throw attack of 1404 with 30 hits of white sharpness, 15% affinity, 510 heat and water element, and one level 3 jewel slot. It also has plus 30 defense bonus. Now for the augments for this build, we're gonna be using one defense increase, which gives us plus 15 defense bonus, and one health regen one, which is going to be enough to keep her helpful. Now for the armor pieces, we're using the Kaiser Crown Beta, the Rex Roar Mail Beta, the Kaiser Van Braces Beta, the Kaiser Coil Beta, the Garuga Greaves Beta, and the Challenger Champor. Now with all these pieces and skills together, we've managed to get a throw attack of 1659 with 10 hits of purple sharpness, 80% affinity for hitting weak spots, 100% affinity for hitting wounded parts of the monster. So now let me show you guys all the skills that we have together in this setup right here. So here we have Master's Touch, Critical Eye level 6, Attack Boost level 5, Agitator level 5, Health Boost level 3, Critical Boost level 3, Weakness Exploit level 3, Blast Attack level 2, Heat Guard level 1, Handicraft level 1, Airborne level 1, Latent Power level 1, Peak Performance level 1, and Non Elemental Boost level 1. So now let me show you guys all the decorations that we're using in this setup right here. So here we have 1 Elementless Jewel 2, 1 Tenderizer Slash Vitality Jewel 4, 1 Challenger Slash Vitality Jewel 4, 2 Attack Jewels 1, 1 Flawless Slash Vitality Jewel 4, 1 Handicraft Jewel 3, 1 Expert Jewel plus 4, 3 Critical Jewels 2, and 1 Fly Slash Attack Jewel 4. So that's pretty much it for the build guys, now I'm gonna show you guys a small demonstration here in the training area so you can actually see what I'm talking about here. So thank you for watching guys, and now check this out!
So that's pretty much it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed the video please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe for more Monster Hunter Iceborne videos like that. So thank you for watching guys and until the next episode, see you!